hi fam welcome back to my youtube channel it's your favorite girl lady authentic and this is authentic skincare if you're passing by my channel for the first time god bless you for clicking on my video and if you're a comeback subscriber thank you for always keeping up with your god in today's video i'll be showing you all how i made this product here okay this is one of my products i'll actually be showing you the secret recipe okay so this is a corrective serum a corrective serum it's infused it's made with alpha beauty niacinamide and salicylic acid those are the main actives there are other ingredients which you're gonna watch how i make the video okay but the main active is alpha beauty niacinamide and salicylic acid alpha beauty and niacinamide are two amazing combo for hyperpigmentation they help to clear hyperpigmentation those are two combinations that also help to clear melasma when you use for a long while like you use it digitiously trust me it can clear melasma hyperpigmentation it clears blemishes it it arranges the face niacinamide is also a very good anti-aging ingredient okay it helps to you know balance the ph it helps to control acne okay and then salicylic acid is also you know it's a top boss when it comes to killing acne bacteria salicylic acid is amazing every if you if you're familiar with skincare you know salicylic acid really helps to treat um um acne causing bacteria it helps to treat pimples very well it is one active that cannot be overemphasized. it is so amazing when it comes to acne salicylic acid is my number one active ingredient so guys i'm going to show you how i use all these ingredients to make a facial serum that can help with facial blemishes help clear discoloration help clear facial blemishes help brighten the face naturally and also help control breakouts you know when it comes to correcting the skin always run to natural formulation when it comes to treatment when it comes to trying to get glass skin blended skin run to natural skincare formulation aka cosmetic science okay run to cosmetic science natural skincare formulation is a go when it comes to skin correctiveness natural brightening okay this is a go so if you're into natural skincare formulation trust me you're going to love this recipe trust me you're going to love this recipe it is very effective it works it's a product i sell you can see it with my brand name on it and everything i've been selling this product it works my clients have given me reviews i have some people that have acne that do not even need any face cream they just use this but make sure you get a sunscreen please note that i might come here and teach you one product it doesn't mean that's all that's the only product you need to treat all your skincare products no for this okay i'm actually going to show you how i use this i'm going to you know slot in the video before show you how i make it i'm going to show you how i just use this you need a good facial soap you need a good toner you know you can use your toner or your cleanser once in a day for example i use my cleanser at night so i didn't really show you using my cleanser because i just used it it's 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 early in the morning right so if you want to really treat your face you want to have a good skin one product cannot do everything for you okay so in as much as we teach you one product you need a good soap that merges with that product you need a good face toner then you apply the product and you also need good sunscreen yes i cannot you know i cannot ever 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 forget the importance of sunscreen is a go add sunscreen to your skincare routine and that's a game changer anything you are treating will not come back because sunscreen would protect your skin from reoccurring issues okay so as you're getting treatments you're getting corrective products you're trying to clear out your skin make sure you have sunscreen even if you're not treating your skin sunscreen is for both fair and dark or skin color okay fam so before further ado let's jump right into the video please subscribe if you've not subscribed turn on the notification bell so you'll be updated anytime i upload a new video and please eh like comment you people know check my other videos i try to respond to if i can reply if i have a question an answer to your question i'll reply or i will leave it and a love emoji because i appreciate all of you thank you so much and um let me show you how i use this product okay let me show you how i use it and let's get to our workstation okay so from the first thing you're gonna do is get a fix wash or a facial soap anything that can properly cleanse your skin okay i use my 24 karat um body wash it has salicylic acid it has alpha betin as well so it's always very good for my face okay <laughs> don't mind me okay so i'll use that on my face i can sometimes leave it for like um few seconds and after like um 
let's say 20 seconds okay don't mind me i'm just gonna go ahead to um wash my face and damp it dry with a clean towel okay so um after damping it dry i'm gonna use my serum okay so i use the serum to control hyperpigmentation i use it to control breakout i use it to um control my pores i i use it to get a fine pores and balance my ph just keep my skin in check and over time it gives your skin a good glow okay um serums are amazing especially when they are properly formulated so in this video i'm going to show you how i formulated this um product you can call it whatever name you want this niacinamide alpha betaine and salicylic acid corrective face serum okay so um i'm just massaging in the serum as you can see using my fingertips okay until my face completely absorbs it okay so fam let's get to our workstation so um to make this product we need two beakers um a small beaker um and a big beaker okay so for the my 100 ml beaker i'm gonna be using this to mix um our slurry to make a slurry this is gonna be our phrase a okay so um i'm also making use of a precision skill right i'm making use of a precision skill this particular phrase the phrase a is gonna have ingredients that would help moisturize the skin and um also thicken up our serum okay so we're gonna be using the higher molecular um hyaluronic acid and the lower molecular hyaluronic acid okay we're gonna be using higher molecular hyaluronic acid one gram and lower molecular hyaluronic acid one gram those are the two powders we will be adding okay the lower molecular hyaluronic acid is um used to it it easily penetrates the skin but it does not thicken product it doesn't really thicken product okay but the higher molecular hyaluronic acid actually thickens the product well but doesn't really penetrate into the skin okay so here we have the two of them i use one one gram of the two of them okay now um to create a slurry with this we're gonna be adding uh one three propanador one three propanador is um a skincare ingredient that helps to as a humectant first of all it's a humectant it helps to also take all the ingredients into your skin it helps with penetration okay so it's always good to mix your hyaluronic acid with a slurry either glycerol or propylene glycol or propanadol okay so for the face it's best to use propanadol okay so i use 10 grams of propanadol i measure out 10 grams of propanadol and then i'll mix together okay now this is what you call a slurry okay when you mix um your thickness it could be any other ingredients like um xanthan gum when you mix your thickness with um a liquid solvent it is called making a slurry okay so i'm bringing in my big beaker and in this big beaker this would be my phrase b okay so i'm going in to measure my distilled water okay i'm measuring out one point um one sixty one Point seven grams of distilled water i'm gonna put the ingredients on the screen so that you guys get it right so after measuring on my distilled water this is my key ingredients which is my alpha butane i'm using alpha butane in two percent since i'm making a 200 gram badge i'm going to be measuring four grams of alpha butane powder okay so this is four grams of our alpha butane powder make sure you are using original when making pure cosmetic formulation make sure you are using original so using alpha butene in product is so good it helps clears hyperpigmentation it helps with melasma over time use of um alpha butene and niacinamide would help clear out severe hyperpigmentation okay so for my second ingredients we're going to be adding in niacinamide i'm using niacinamide pc okay this particular type of niacinamide is not sensitive to um ph it is not sensitive to ph it means you can leave it as a ph of 3 to 6.5 unlike the normal regular niacinamide that has to be at a ph of around six it must be around six either five point something or six point 
something okay or six at the dot okay this particular niacinamide i love to use so this is our third ingredient this is my n acetyl glucosamine okay i'm also using my n acetyl glucosamine in four percent please just be patient i'm gonna post the measurement on the screen okay i'm gonna post it on the screen okay so i'm using n acetic glucosamine this um n acetic glucosamine goes very well with niacinamide it is so effective it's almost like it boosts the effectiveness of niacinamide okay they are like brother and, and sisters okay so our next equipment this is what i call my disodium edta this helps to preserve the product this helps to to make sure the ph remains balanced this helps with literally balancing your cosmetic formulation your cosmetic formulation yes okay so you see the way i added the powders measure the powders add it to your distilled water and you stay and you see how everything dissolves because they are all water soluble powders okay so yes i've added in um most of my powders and i'll be going in with my um so i'm gonna be adding in um licorice extract okay this extract is so good it is um water soluble and it is very good for making your facial product it also tackles hyperpigmentation it as well helps with breakout you know i will be adding in um six grams of licorice extract i'm using three percent okay i'm adding in six grams because i'm making a 200 gram badge okay so i used the cover because i want to be precise i don't want to make any mistake and over add you know maybe go past the um the measurements i i need okay so that's six gram of my licorice extract okay and of course anytime you add in an ingredient go in and stir you can use your spatula or your stirring rod to stir in and mix in that ingredient so it incorporates properly okay um here i have another star ingredient um my salicylic acid i had to show it because i know this is not very popular this is the liquid salicylic acid it is so good this is this product is a lifesaver okay so for those that have acne even if you're not acne prone you can use salicylic acid it will help to mildly exfoliate the skin okay so we'll be using this in 0.5 percent a very minute percent another reason why i like to use this you can go higher if you want but i like to use this in 0.5 percent is because this particular product i bought has a mentorish feeling yeah it's it has a mentorish feeling i guess it's the solvent that was used to dissolving the salicylic acid i probably that's what i think okay so it's not uncomfortable but it is there it's something you will feel like a peppermint feeling okay so i added one gram of my salicylic acid okay i'm using 0.5 percent i added one gram of the salicylic acid and i stare okay here i'll be adding in my jamma plus okay i'm gonna be adding in my liquid jamma plus okay i'm using 0.5 percent of my jamma plus which is um one gram as well one gram of my jamma plus as well okay and um stir properly okay now i'll be bringing in my phase a and we'll be combining the two together so before you combine it make sure you stir the slurry because the slurry uh, mixture which is your phrase it would have settled down so make sure you stir it this is this thing is just very simple right and this recipe doesn't have too many phrases like phrase a b c d it's just two phrases okay so as you add in your phrase a to your phrase b stay stay it properly this would help moisturize the face a would help moisturize the skin hyaluronic acid is an anti-aging ingredient to help moisturize the skin it would help the product penetrate into the skin properly and it also help the product ticken up you know feel very luxurious you know how a serum feels like 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 luscious on the skin okay so um when you add in the 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 phase a make sure you stare and once you stare you find out that it will start becoming 
a bit thicker okay now this is optional okay i always like to add in my essential oil fragrance this helps give my products a very unique smell it helps gives my product a unique smell and you know clients will just be asking like clients will feel very comfortable because many at times um pure cosmetic formula you see i'm not calling it organic formula this is the standard way of making cosmetic formulation pure cosmetic formulas are like always plain smells they don't really have any fragrances okay so these fragrances are a way to incorporate fragrance and still remain very very neutral okay so after adding my fragrance added my fragrance in few drops by the way just like two three drops it must be essential oil fragrance if you must use a fragrance not the regular fragrance okay so now let's try to take our ph okay so when you bring out your sleep um you dip it into um your product if you have a sleep make use of the ph sleep or make use of the ph meter okay so i have a ph of five if you can see it properly we have a ph of five to five point five right look at it it's in between five to six it's in between five to six i want my ph because of my salicylic acid i want my ph to be around um um four okay three point five to four i want my ph to be like that so i'm gonna drop the ph a little bit okay because um it will actually this serum will actually work at this ph but it, it is more if some ingredients are more effective at a lower ph some are more effective at a higher ph okay so alpha butene is more effective at a ph of 3.24 and um salicylic acid as well so i'm gonna try to balance my ph i'm gonna use my citric acid buffer this is 50 percent citric acid 50 percent um water okay i'm going to add few drops i'm going to gradually add few drops and stir my products and it's going to help drop the ph of my facial serum okay so i have 4.5 i'm not satisfied i'm looking for a ph around four right 3.5 to 4 4 would be perfect okay so just do it gradually don't rush this is a part of um cosmetic formulation that can be exhausting but very important okay once you balance your ph you will get the perfect result okay read about your actives you see i keep checking it i'll put a little and i keep checking it okay um read about your active know at which know which um ph your active ingredients best working and always balance it your products at that ph it is very very good and very important you balance your ph okay so all this thing i'm trying to do is just i'm still going ahead adding just in bits i added like few drops like three to four times before i got my um desired ph for you it might be lesser okay it might be lesser so just don't add it at once be patient gradually adding your buffer solution and stir your citric buffer solution and stir because sometimes if you go in and you're in a hurry you add in so much you find out that the ph will drop like you can drop up to three and you then have to start increasing it again you don't want that stress trust me ph adjustment is the most stressful part of cosmetic formulation but it is very important always have that at the back of your mind now note that i switched to my ph meter because of um accuracy i want to be very accurate if you have the paper you can keep using the paper right if you're using the the, the sorry i call it paper the ph yes paper slip right the paper slip you can keep using that but i have both okay so just for accuracy i always go in with my um ph meter especially when i make serums or face wash okay just to have an accurate result okay um i kept trying to um reduce it and it wasn't reducing i didn't want it to 
surpass four so i think at the end of the day i left it at a ph of um 4.1 which is still very okay my salicylic acid will be very active my niacinamide nice ph very okay and my alpha butene those are the three active ingredients that i need to make sure you know is very very okay so this is our serum you can see it's a bit thickening and it looks very luscious on and it's going to feel very luscious on the skin okay here i'm checking the final ph which is 4.1 okay which is perfect okay so i'm sanitizing my bottles and i will be packaging uh my facial serum okay so this facial serum is good it's effective it's potent and it is so amazing you can use it as a night treatment serum you can also use it as a daytime serum and apply your sunscreen make sure if you use any product alpha butene is known as a brightening lightening ingredients always apply your sunscreen after using this product okay so here's our serum i'm just packaging up and showing you how it looks now note that there's something i just want you guys to notice the higher you increase your salicylic acid the less thickened your serum is going to be so what i mean is if you increase your percentage usage rate of your salicylic acid look at how fine our serum looks right if you increase the percentage usage rate of your salicylic acid to like one percent or to two percent or 1.5 percent whatever way you decide to increase it okay you would get a less thickened serum you might need to use like xanthan gum or something to thicken the serum that's just because if you make um serums with um aha or bha like lactic acid serum glycolic acid serum salicylic acid serum um it doesn't easily thicken up with hyaluronic acid except you increase the percentage also of your hyaluronic acid so um that's what i mean if you're making acids you need to make um thicker slurries maybe with your xanthan gum or a higher percentage of your hyaluronic acid so that your serum is a bit um um thickened up okay so this is um what the product looks like um i didn't hide anything i can change the formulation twist it increase certain percentage reduce you know the way i want to but this particular batch um this is how i made it okay and it's very good i sell this product it's so good with time it clears hyperpigmentation it clears dark spot it brightens the complexion okay so yeah and it also helps treat redness if you have you're prone to redness it is a uh, to go okay so um you can see all the benefits i wrote behind it same benefit i told you you can read on the active okay so please if you have any question leave it for me in the comment section these serums are so cute leave it for me in the comment section if you want to buy this product if you want us to make product for you in large vitamin c serum hyaluronic acid serum anything send us a dm on instagram our page is on the screen or on whatsapp send us a dm and we are open to wholesale deals rebranding for clients in the us in nigeria anywhere anywhere i ship worldwide okay so please leave your comments for me in the comment section ask me questions in the comment section i would answer your questions okay just drop your comments for me in the comment section and you know me always leave me kisses if you're new and you've not subscribed please do not leave without subscribing subscription is free thank you fam and um till my next video bye